Our question, Adam Tobago, we're in the December, tailoring to the end of the year. At this time, we tend to get that drying trend as we head towards the dry season. We haven't started the dry season, but obviously we'll be looking to those uh, bushfires to erupt once we get the dry air coming through in February and March. But at least for the next few days, there's a bit of moisture set to come by, especially down towards the south. So we could be seeing a bit of cloudiness around Trinidad, the possibility of some showers there. But for Tobago, it is going to be a mostly settled, tranquil skies for the most part, just the occasional cloud and uh, the passing shower for the most part going through the morning into uh, the afternoon. Down towards uh, Trinidad after a cool night, just occasional clouds are expected for the most part into Val Valencia, into Al Paro, and also also into Piaco, but most of the clouds and the showers will likely be on the south, the Rio Claro into Maruga, and getting up to San Fernando as you go through the day. It will be a relatively pleasant day, possibly no higher than 32 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 30 degrees Celsius likely in Cane and Tobago under mild conditions there. And for those heading offshore, you notice those are north northeasterly swells continuing rather long at times 11 seconds for the most part but keeping conditions are moderately choppy with one and a half to two meter wind waves as you go through tuesday and we only have one high tide tomorrow and that's at noon for the rest of the week the tranquil skies will at least continue at least through wednesday and then on thursday and friday lots more sunshine is likely so after midweek showers looking for a drying trend to get towards a friday so that's your weather and that's it from me